This is an unboxing and first impressions video of Invisible Shield, which is another scratch protection system for Windows Phone devices. So when you get your Invisible Shield here, it has the instructions right there, and it tells you to register for your lifetime warranty here. And inside it, you've got a little spray solution, which helps apply it to the phone. And you have a cleaning cloth and some more detailed instructions here. And you also have the rubber squeegee which is used to apply the little protective film onto your phone. So the first thing you're actually supposed to do is turn off your device and then remove the battery from the device. I'm not sure why they have you do this, possibly it's because they use that little application solution and having moisture on the device while having it turned on may be a bad thing but I guess it's just a good safety precaution so I'm using a HD7 right now for this video but they also have screen protectors available for most of the other Windows phones the next step is of course to wash your fingertips and make sure they're clean then you're supposed to moisten your fingers using their application solution here and then slowly peel off one of the screen protectors off of the little paper backing. I'll start with the front screen here. Once you get this peeled off, you leave it adhesive side up and you start to spray it a bit with the application solution. And then you, of course, start to apply it to your phone. And then you'll want to smudge out any of the air bubbles that you can using the squeegee. So there's still a number of bubbles remaining in there that I couldn't manage to squeegee out. But hopefully those will go away after a few days like they say they will. Then you'll want to follow the same procedures for the rest of the little films. Getting these things off their paper backings is actually a lot tougher than it should be. Often part of the paper peels off while another part just sticks to the inside protector making it really impossible to get off. So now I'm applying the left side shield which took me decades to remove. <laughs> this one actually does wrap around the corner which is kind of odd because the other one didn't. And now time for that middle right side cover. And finally the bottom right corner. And now the bottom protector. So you're definitely going to want to reserve like at least 30 minutes to do this because it does take a while. I'm actually just about 30 minutes into my video right now and I still need to do the back protectors too. Peeling these things are honestly an art. And a matter of sharp fingernails too. Aligning the bottom screen protector conforms perfectly around these ports. As you can see, it just goes right around the micro USB and leaves a space for the microphone there too, and it goes right around the headphone jack. And it fits around the device really well. Depending on how well you stretch the covers, you might or might not have a little gap here between some of the corners, but otherwise it covers it pretty well. And now on to the back cover. Then the tiny kickstand protector. And finally the bottom back protector. So the toughest one to apply was probably the back one here. Just because of the kind of shape of the back and how it curves a lot. How it curves on those edges. So that one has some bubbles in it. But otherwise the insulation was pretty smooth. Something I do notice is it seems like this gets those moisture fingerprints a lot easier than other screen protectors like Rapsol does. And it kind of has that look where it's not extremely glossy. As you can see it looks bumpy and rough. I'm not sure if that look will stay. I'll of course do a review after using um, Invisible Shield for a month, but honestly it looks pretty bad like that. 
And of course there's some little bubbles there which I can do perfectly, but hopefully those will kind of settle out throughout two or three days. Otherwise it covers your entire phone here and seems like it should do a pretty good job of protecting the device. So I'll compare this invisible shield here to Rapsol and you can check out the video in the bottom left of this video or in the description below. And right now I would say Rapsol is actually a bit better than invisible shield. The application process of Rapsol was probably slightly easier just because you didn't have to use that spray bottle stuff and um, peeling the little protective films off the backing paper was a lot easier with Rapsol. For some reason these are a huge pain with Invisible Shield. But otherwise Invisible Shield gets a few points for being easier at protecting this side because with Rapsol it was one single film that went all the way across there so that was a lot tougher to apply. Uh, breaking it up into little sections here was a lot easier to apply. Otherwise, they're pretty similar and they're a pretty similar price. So far, I don't care for the feel of Invisible Shield that much yet. Rapsol kind of had a more glossy glass feel to it. This is a bit more sticky. But once you get it applied, you can put your battery back into your phone and turn it on and start using it again. So once this starts up, we'll take a look at how responsive the touchscreen is after applying Rapsol. So it feels pretty uh, smooth here and just about as responsive. Let's see, we can probably go into my email and make a new email and then see how the keyboard responsiveness feels because that's a good way to test it. So it actually feels pretty good and it's just about the same as the responsiveness of the phone without a screen protector on. And it does feel decent actually. It doesn't stick that much when you're scrolling. Your finger does kind of glide through it so that's really nice. So overall Invisible Shield is a good way to protect your device without using a case and if the installation process goes smoothly it does feel pretty nice and does a good job. Right now I would personally pick Rapsol over Invisible Shield but after a month of using my phone I'll come back and do another review of Invisible Shield and then you can truly see how it compares. Subscribe to WM Power users to catch the latest reviews. 